Hello everyone, this is Mad Marshman, episode 3 of Canopy Basic. Now, last time we were here, I played like a fool. We went in the dungeon, we half secured, or at least secured the area we were in. We then took all the loot from the chest. Then, like an idiot, jumped up in the air right in front of a skeleton that we knew was there and got shot into a pit of lava I mean that was completely stupid we lost all the loot, loot is a rare commodity in these sort of challenge maps we played that, or I played that really badly so I've made a couple of pickaxes, three swords and some torches we're gonna go back and we're going to secure that area and we're going to do it properly because how I did it before was embarrassing really we'll take some blocks with us, we'll take some slabs don't know if that's enough slabs for what I want to do what I should have done in the first place right what have we got with us, we have food food blocks some weapons and a pickaxe. That should do us. Mind you, while we're here, see normally if I play these maps, I think I said this before, I would spend quite a lot of time on this block here and get a load of food together, get a load of blocks together, a load of weapons, even have a chest with what I like to call a care package in it. Care package would just be a couple of pickaxes, a couple of swords, some torches and some food so then if ever you die you come straight back to your spawn open up your chest you've immediately got everything you need to go and recover your items within the five minute time limit because we're so close to where we lost our items the clock is probably running from as soon as we respawn because that chunk will already be loaded so we just sap them gathering for now. Six. Could really do with some more dirt. Let's go and get some. Just hollow it out, hollow out the island. Six, that'll do for now. Let's put another torch here. As soon as we come back here quite regularly. And it is near where we live. Right, let's do this. Let's have them in a row. And let's make them easy to harvest. Stop them from growing too tall. We'll take a little bit of unnecessary damage there. It's not too bad. Right, little bit of messing around. Put the valuables back in the box. Take what we don't need. Or don't take what we don't need, should I say. Go for a swim. I should build a boat, really. Oh yeah, I lost my squid. My ink sacks. Is that over there? Is that a cow? Is there are cows on this map and pigs? That's excellent. We could could use them for enchanting. 
I don't know how we're going to get on with lag or anything today, but I'm I'm rendering and uploading and recording, putting the putting the computer under a little bit of strain today. See how it goes. Oh, and I'm recording this one in HD. I haven't got a, my computer records happily in HD, but it's the upload times I normally find quite horrific. But we do a little experiment with this one. I'm not liking the look of my videos at the moment, they look quite washed out. Right, here we are. Back in this area. Now this is what we should have done in the first place. You cannot walk on glass panes. Well, there's something down there though. But we're not going down there yet. Also when I fell down there I'm convinced that I heard a gasp. Oh, that's handy, because I forgot to put any on. Like a fool. Right. I can do that now. Slightly more safely. I can hear spiders. Right, let's get some torches in there. What have we got in this direction? As Joe Hills would say, light it up. Light it up. Reduce spawning. Give yourself a chance to see what's going on. Two skeletons. Don't come glitching through my blocks. Three skeletons, four skeletons. Well, we must have a we must have a spawner in there. I know knocked my own light out. They're shooting each other. That'll do me fine. Sissy bars. Progress in safe manner. Ooh, not that safe though. Not a hundred percent safe. I want to get in this room really. We can't keep messing about forever. I might make a charge for it. spawner is there must be one. Ooh do I want to hang over that edge yet? Right, that's all water. So the chances are we would not fall to our death. That's quite nice. So is that. So is that. Right, where are these spawners? There's got to be skeleton spawners in here somewhere. There's one. We'll save these because we may trap them for arrows if we feel like it at a later date. There's another one. idea how many's in here or where they all are. Right. I'm still quite angry. <laughs> really played a lot of fool last time. I don't like to make excuses but anyone who does any of this LP and will know what I'm about to say and that is when you're trying to do a half decent commentary as well as play the game well at least for me I reckon it reduces my game playing ability at least by 50% at least maybe even more I 
can't see any more spawners. Right, what have we got? Stone sword, copper axes, ender pearls, food, bottles of enchant and we'll leave them there for now as they're not a lot of good to us until we find an enchanting table and some food where's this axe that they just gave me right and what have we over here another nice sword more tools, some sugar and we're full. Let's take what we can. Anything that will fit with what we've already got. Right, sugar. I'm sure I had some sugar. I'm full of sugar. And any coal, string, ender pearls. Oh, nether wart. Again, we want an enchanting table or at least some soul sand. So we can, right, we can make a couple more inventory slots here. By getting ourselves armoured up a little bit. And to aid with the armouring up, we can take this leather. This leather. Was there any leather in this one? No. Well, typically the side of the chest. Oh, that's really annoyed me now. Alright, we'll do a quick... Don't want to lose anything. Alright, let's run this back. Double sissy bar. I still hear them spiders. Right, before we go back, just in case it's dark outside, let's equip our sword. dark outside, I thought it was. So it was dark when we went in and we haven't spent a lot of time in there. Right, let's get back home. So I'll get back home, sort out my inventory and then come back to you. Right, we're a little bit more organised now, except for one vital component. So we go into our tools chest get an axe. We definitely want a sword. What have we got? We'll take sharpness two, knock back two. And where is the nearest tree? Not very far away. Right, we need a little bit of timber. As ours isn't growing yet. Right, let's get up here. Keep messing about. That's all we need. Can save ourselves a lot of aggro here. That might as well all be there. In our various chest, we have 16 string. I know we have a sheep, but I can't wait for that grass to grow. I'm getting impatient. Three of them, three of these, we have a bed, alright excellent, we can now set our spawn 
anywhere will do, here will do. Set our spawn and remove the darkness. Right, that's better. Let's have some more string activities. A bow to go with our 51 arrows. Right, we do not need to cart the string about with us. Or the timber. I think we will make all them sticks into torches. We'll leave half the torches here and the remainder of the coal. We're going to take some blocks and take all them. If we won't, we'll take half. Indecisions, we'll take some half slabs. I don't know why we're carting that fish about. Let's test it. Is this a digging fish or a fighting fish? It's not a digging fish. Could well be a fighting fish. Right, we'll take a spare stone sword. How many pickaxes have I got? One. I intend to do a bit of digging. So... I'm convinced I heard a blaze. Now, blazes could be bad news or they could be good news. Good news because we could do with a brewing stand. And also with blaze powder we could have fireproof potions. But bad news because how to fight a blaze. Back to our dungeon. I have no idea how long this video is running. I should have looked at the clock. Like I say, this is going to take forever and a day to upload, with it being HD. But if there's a significant difference, in quality I may continue with HD, but if the difference in upload time is too big, I should imagine it's going to be enormous. I may not. Oh, that was not a good way to start. Right, I've brought no food. I'll go back and get the food and then come back to you. Right, we are back. So, let's see what's in here. Have a little peek. Ooh. Now I can hear spiders. Oh, my word. So we're getting given a lot of stuff at the start. After all, this is super docile, I suppose. So this is where he's been incredibly nice to us. Another one here. Full of goodies. Right, and obviously spider spawners in there. We'll have a quick little wander around. Better plant the torch. We don't want to make life difficult for us when Vetch seems to be making life well, not easy for us, but he's given us a good head start. What I'm doing here is more commonly known as being a tunnel rat. Might be a bit of a cheap way of doing it, you might think, but the map rules state survive any way you can. And not running into dungeons gung ho is a good way of surviving. This is going to take us out into that cavern again, I thought it might. Some lovely red mushrooms over there. Ooh. We're considerably near a ground level here. I believe... I'm not sure if this is the cavern we've been in or not. Right. Let's close that up. I think we know where we've got a good supply of items if we need them. 
and possibly where did he hide the spawners before? They were under this layer, weren't they? I won't be surprised if there's spider spawners under here. Not yet. Well, we'll have a look at that later. I was more interested in what is down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The sissy bar is no good against spiders when it's got a too wide gap in it. Right, we're going in. We got plenty of armour. Right. These could be very useful for now what we want to do now. Chain leggings, very nice. Very nice indeed. Efficiency shovels. More ender pearls, fence posts. Fence posts are actually more useful than you think in fighting mobs, especially cave spiders. If we see some, I will explain or demonstrate or attempt to. That could all go horribly wrong as well. Right, I'm not tunneling. I'm not going down a staircase directly beside lava because I've got some nice armor on, and we would like to keep hold of it. There's your blaze. Blazes are spawning. could end up in trouble quite quickly. And my phone is ringing so we've just got to stop briefly.